We're sitting here at Long Acres, um, and it's a special day um, because we are with one of the absolute club legends. And that word legend we use a lot, but today it really, really fits. So first of all, Ozzy, welcome back home here. Um, let's start right at the end. How, what made you get to the point you say, you know what, now is the time that I need to stop and stop playing football? Starting hard, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, as a player, you know, when you started looking next to you and I uh, big agent, you know, and you see you don't play much as you want and you like get to certain age and you say, no, it's time to to quick, not quick, like say it's time to, to think the next step because, you know, I'm 38. I want to think in my family. I don't want to, you know, doing something like I'm not enjoying anymore, like not as saying as before. Um, but, you know, I talked to my wife because I got my last game in Seattle. That's my last game. So after that, I get injury. Yeah. yeah. So I come back to, to Atlanta, uh, get like a hunting injury. I recovered, but I didn't play much after. So I was thinking, like, I think it's time to, to take the next step and look forward because I didn't play much and, you know, I want to play. Yeah. I don't want to be in the bench. I, I recovered good. Yeah. I was able to play, but, you know, when you spend like 14 months out, you know, they, they're not using you anymore because, you know, the, the, the new play and you say, yeah. Yeah. I think it's time to, to move out. And Let's go back a bit in the beginning, especially in Seattle. Um, we were just talking now, time flies. About 15 years ago, we all met. You know, in Starfire, VMAC, it was for the training. Remember that? Um, what's your memories from those first few years in terms of coming to Seattle, MLS? Everything was brand new for us. You know, we had the game against New York in the debut. We won the Open Cup. You had obviously the third Open Cup when you scored a goal against yeah. Chicago. Good one. Just some of your memories from the early years of being a sounder. We were young, like, yeah, like you say, but you know, it was special because Seattle was new in the MLS. We want to make a statement in MLS and it was hard for us because it's a lot of pressure because every new thing in the MLS they had to, yeah. yeah. And the first game in front of 20,000 people, yeah. Yeah. New York, like I think the year before they, they went to the final, no? Yeah. Against Colombo. Against him. Against him, yeah. yeah. And we beat them 3-0, it was like, it was amazing, you know. I think from that, that day, after that, we keep going. Talk we, about uh, the celebration, though. How when the celebration Montero's goal with you, him, oh, and John Kennedy. Yeah, yeah. Where'd that well, come from? Well, Fred, like, of he said, if I score the first goal, we'll do this one. I say, okay. You know, we're young. Are we? <laughs> are we? Oh my goodness, Fred came to to that idea, and we did. And what was fun, yeah. <laughs> Three zero. Uh, well, it was crazy, but you know, like back in the day, was was tough for us in the beginning because. We didn't yeah. know our way. We didn't know what we were doing, really. No, I we mean, a couple, couple guys came yeah. from, yeah. you know, other MLS teams, but a lot of guys were coming from the lower leagues yeah. and then to put, to, keep, to put a team together like that. And I think we got unlucky in, in the playoffs as well. Yeah. I think it could have been even more that year. Yeah. Brian Ching, yeah. right? Yeah, good goal. Just we, some amazing goal. Winning the, we the did our best. Open Cup and the... Open Cup, we did good. We lose in the playoff. Lost in the, the playoffs. Extra time. Yeah, and then the next year we played Galaxy, which was a good team. We lost in the playoffs again. Yeah. So it was, we were good, but I forget how young we were. We were like, you know, 20, 21, 20. Our main players were no more than 23, no, 24, no more, yeah. outside of Lundberg that first year, and Casey, obviously. Um, everyone, Tyrone, Tyrone, Tyrone yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Leo. And then Leo and Kim. <laughs> what was your first experience with Ziggy, though? Yeah. Remember 2007 or 2008? 2008. Eight. In, no, no, in LA. Columbus went to LA to preseason. So I got a, the, the opportunity to go there. We train with them, oh, wow. try out, yeah. and yeah, Siggy told me now nah, we want to sign you, but we all we have all the, the play and the position, so we're not gonna not able to sign up for this year. So that's why I, my first first experience with Columbus, and that year you win the championship. So that's why I moved to Charleston that year. But what's I mean, you talked about it in there, you know, what the staff was, just how serendipitous things come together, right? So you played against Schmetz and he had already seen you and then Schmetz becomes part of the staff with Ziggy. You had tried out for, you know, Columbus, Ziggy was a head coach and then all of a sudden these guys come together and say, hey, let's go get this guy. Let's at least have him in preseason, right? It wasn't a guarantee right away. Yeah. Uh, right? Yeah. I, I, if I can quote Destiny, I don't know, because, you know, train, uh, train with Ziggy before 
have played against Briar in USL and I think that made me like sign here in Seattle because Brian was head coach in the USL and she came right away to, to Seattle and they told to me that to come here and after that she told me no I wanna bring you here because I saw you there in in Charleston and in the preseason I, I my first year in Charleston was 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 great. Obviously I came from college, I wasn't watching USL, I didn't know anything about you. I think it took me maybe one or two weeks to say, okay, this guy is quite good. Two but weeks? One or two weeks to say he's quite good. And, but, 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 <laughs> but, but after three or four games, it's like, this guy's unbelievable. Because I never, I've seen number sixes, they can make tackles and play, but you could do both. You could make hard tackles, but then you also make the game with the ball. Get the ball from the goalkeeper, two players, turn this way. I've never seen that before. What did you learn to play with such, you weren't scared. The ball's coming to you, I'm like, Aussie maybe today and then you turn out of pressure you always wanted the ball you always were there where did you get this mentality to kind of always want to be on the ball and then if you're playing against David Ferreira back then Javier Morales and then eventually the Nagbis Valeris you always wanted that challenge I saw in your eyes always like okay it's my job where do you get this mentality I don't know from Cuba I think I think if not ball with me because I want to win every time I step to the field and I don't care who is in front of me I want to <laughs> want to play you know, but I got lucky that I have you in the in the sideline because sometimes I got pressure and I say, kick it, I'm going to chase it. Kick it, it long <laughs> and you get it, and it's a good pass. But my mentality was always, you know, I came from Cuba with nothing, say, I got this chance in my, in my hands. I'm not going to waste it. I had to fight for it, and that's why I, I don't... You two played together yeah. in that music. What was in the you, beginning? Did you guys talk about like I'll go up, you go down? Because you guys worked really well. How did you, you just all just played? We don't talk. I have no, <laughs> no English before. <laughs> it's so, it's called so, so, soccer IQ. Yeah. It's just you go, yeah, you don't you see know, him, I gotta go. Yeah. 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 Okay. I think Ziggy did most of the you know four four two yeah. playing in that kind of more tactical. Obviously, he was more more defensive, but yeah. it gave me the freedom to, to push yeah, forward, yeah. and it was kind of just an unspoken thing. I mean, it was a good, what, four years yeah. together with the, in the middle of midfield, and uh, yeah. it made my job, you mm -hmm. know, easier. And we could sit as two, though, yeah. also, and pull yeah. pull one back that sits in front of us. So I think we were a little bit more advanced at that time, yeah. uh, just, I think, in the way that we saw the game as, yeah. as midfielders, too. And we, we have a good team. We got Freddie there. He can score goals. Freddie could score. And then eventually, you know. You can we'll take people on. And yeah, then we had Sana as well. Sana. Very fast. So we had good outlets, yeah. And, then and the back, we got Kenny strong, and. Strong. Casey in the goal. Casey in the goal. I mean, this is, yeah. We had a very good and team. Leo. Do you think, do you think, do you guys think, I know we achieved a lot. Did we underachieve in the playoffs in those early years? Could we have done more? What, what do you think? I think we. I think so. Yeah, we can do more. I think so. But if you look at the rosters of other teams, I think if you broke it down, I think you'd probably take yeah. some of those guys over the guys that were on our team at the time. So I, I, I think it's a little bit of both. I think we, obviously we won cups and that yeah. says a yeah. lot. Yeah. And then the playoffs, it's, it's such a roll of the dice sometimes. sometimes. The problem was we'd go away, lose three Playoff was the, the, the main. Yeah, yeah. then we have to come was, back and have to score four goals. I think the, the, when we play away, it was we horrible. play different. We yeah. play different, we change and we, we lose three nil. When we come home and, and then we'd kill people. We yeah. kill people, but not enough. Not enough. Yeah. yeah, the gap was too big. I remember, I think, uh, Galaxy, 3-0 down there, and, yeah, and then we, we came came back. Back. We, we almost beat them, but... We had Eddie Johnson offside goal, first five minutes, that would have been one. Then Eddie scored, then Zach Scott scored a header. And we were going to win, and they could see it. And then Robbie Keane got the penalty from yeah. Adam, yeah, and it was like, the game is over. We would have beat them. 2012, no? 2012, yeah, 12. yeah good memory. Yeah, I yeah. send off. You got sent off? After, because I got mad with the ref. After the game? I got there, I say, you know, <laughs> send off. I, 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 I got mad. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I, I definitely, I definitely agree. Um, for you, did you, did you not want to be captain? I always found that weird about you. That you, because for me, I think of the team, the leader, that's Aussie. But I feel like you just wanted to focus on your own game, and you didn't want. Before? Yeah. See, so came to me and said, "You want to be a captain?" Say, "No, I want to be a yeah. captain because I was young and say, no, I want to focus on the game I because." Saw that. But after that, when the Brian came to me, I was more mature and say, okay. okay, I take it. But before, yeah, you didn't so that's Brian you went to in Brian, the cut, yeah. yeah but yeah, he came to me to ask me, but I, I was more focused in the game. I wanna. I just have one regret playing with you, mm -hmm. and that was oh, it was your birthday, and you wanted to take a PK. No, my daughter's birthday. Oh, daughter. Mater. To, and, oh. and, wanted, and he wanted to take a PK. And I gave <laughs> against it to him. Philly. Against Philly. At home. At home. At home. Zero, zero. Oh, I said to Kling, Kling. It's my birthday, so I want to take a PK. 
if it's happening. So it happened, you say, oh my God, I have to score this goal. So I take a ball, I shoot, miss. Oh my God. Ziggy, Ziggy lost his mind. It was first half, because at halftime, he lost his mind. He was so angry at me, too. Yeah, if, if I put somebody in the list, yeah, he's the one that take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I do the list. Yeah. But lucky we win the game, yeah, yeah, two have, one, yeah. and win. Yeah. But then Marcus went crazy. Yeah, he's, he he said next time I wanna be if my I don't know my daughter's birthday I wanna take the PK. Yeah. It's my best so friend's birthday. With him, I wanna you know? take the PK. Ozzy almost tried to kill him. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine it. <laughs> I can imagine it. Um, another thing about you that was always interesting for me was because like when we would travel for preseason trips or in the locker room, you're very relaxed, hang out, make jokes, we play pranks. We always were laughing, playing FIFA, soccer, tennis. But then you cross the white line, it's like a different person, that like you're going like that. Did you make the switch or it just kind of happened when you got on the pitch? I think it's happening yeah. uh, naturally. Yeah. Because, you know, off the field you, you chill, but yeah. when I go there, I want to win. Uh, you know, I, I, hate, I hate to lose, <laughs> I, you know me. Yeah, Even yeah. the car, I want to win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, like I say, it came from Cuba with nothing, mm. got this opportunity in my hand, I had to take it. And, yeah. you know, I want to do something for the club. But, to, to, to win something and you know every time I was there I say man this is my opportunity to, to win the game yeah. and I go there and you know yeah. fight. That's yeah. the thing people always ask me on the outside what's Ozzy like was they see on the pitch how intense he is I said no nah, normal laughing joking yeah. we don't we, when we train even I would say sometimes maybe when we got closer to the game like even in training sometimes you're relaxed in training sometimes you were never too much in training like no. you know yeah you were very chill you play 5v2 stuff like that um someone can run past you in training maybe you let them but if it's a real game i know you're going to stay with them right so then somehow when the game came on saturday you always had this switch <laughs> and you always for me was always like a seven minimum the bad game for aussie seven from ten good game mostly eight nine ten but always so consistent um i'm not sure big question here what do you think was your best season I have in my head what I think, but for you, my best when season. When you felt like, okay, I am, yeah. I think 2012. Mm. Yeah, was good. Yeah. Or 14, also. 14, you guys. 14 were was good. 14, you guys were good. But as a player, yeah, yeah, yeah. 14 was yeah. one of the best. Yeah, yeah. 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 You and Gonzo, Oba, Clint, Brad and Chad. Like it was that that team. As a team, Papa, I think, that team yeah. Was good. Yeah, yeah. But as a player, I think 12 was 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 good year for me. Mm. Which yeah. year were all star years? All star, I think 10, 11, 12, 13. No, 14, I think 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. Isn't that weird how you look back and you might think that a year is better for you? So I'm, I, you know, I might disagree. I might say like 2009 was the best yeah. year because it was the most important, yeah. but th from your peers, that's all star, right? Because you're getting voted on by your peers, yeah. other players. And so that says a lot about that moment of your career, like those four years. Yeah. And then you think back and you're like, well, wait, what happened after that? I still played another four or five yeah. years and I was really good. Yeah. Why wasn't I an all-star, yeah. right? And then you look back and you're like, man, that small, tiny little window that you get to be at the, mm -hmm. at the top and you get to play in the all-star games and it, you, know, you get all these accolades, best 11, things like yeah. that. Yeah. It's actually such a small window when you look at it for guys that have won trophy after yeah. trophy and all-star, all-star every year, right? It's a testament to you know, the longevity and, and how good they are. But yeah. Would you say, I mean, when you look back on your career, right, let's say the past 15, 20 years, um, in MLS, do you think you were the best number six in the league overall? Be honest. You know, I don't want to say. I know you're not going to say it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to say it. People are going to say I, I, it I, about I, me. I'm going to say it for you. For me, by far. I think by far. To be honest, by far. Because he just spoke about, we're talking about two, your best year might be 2012, but you were bloody good in 2016 as well. Like, you were still the best. So... To have it thing for that long, I think the only person I compared you to and I played with him, but I saw was Chara. But Chara had the defensive part. But with the ball, he gave it. But you could actually dribble the ball and play as well. I think you had it over him. I think in the beginning, Beckerman was close. I think you went past him. The only guy, but you guys kind of missed each other, was Shari. Shari in New England was a monster. He was crazy. So I, I was the only guy I've ever been afraid yeah. the night before. Shari was crazy. Yeah. So I want to see the best Shari, the best Aussie. That's the game. But you guys missed each other a little bit. That's the only problem. But um, Shari was, that's the only one. But you're not going to say, but you 100%. I think in this league, and I've never seen a number six like that. I'm being honest with you. And to play with you was like, I mean, we used to have so much fun. We play sometimes the Americans against international players and we would lose 5-0, but we didn't care. We were just kind of having fun yeah. trying to do one, twos. And these guys were so organized and so good and we would lose the game. But we always want to have fun and try to nutmeg someone or do a step over. So I missed 
um, playing with you in that regard. But, Brad, you played alongside some good midfielders as well. Where would you rank him? Yeah, I mean, it's top for me. Yeah. I think, um, you know, I mean, I'm trying to run the game. I mean, the only one that I could possibly compare to is, is Michael. You know, Michael Bradley in, with the national team, but I never got to play with him in a club setting. It was always, you know, the longest I was in a camp with him was for a month. But that, those two guys, no matter what position I played, they, like you said, they always wanted the ball. It didn't matter if there were four guys around him. Give me the ball. I know what I'm going to do with it next. There are not many. And, and, you know, Kyle played with Kyle with the national team, too, and he's a fantastic, you know, number six. And got forward as well and for his size could get on some, you know, on the end of things with his head. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, Michael was probably the only guy where I really trusted that I could just do my thing, give him the ball. He's going to make the right decision. I don't have to do anything extra. Um, and that begs a question, like Michael went overseas, right? Played at Roma. Why, why stay here? Why not try and go try out and go on trial and Germany or, or Spain or, you know, Portugal or something? I don't know. I don't know if came from Cuba is different or the background that I have or the passport you know you got power I don't know I I was happy in Seattle but I never got the chance to like really 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 I went to try out to England but to qualify to play England you got to play with the national team yeah. that's why I tried to play with US I didn't play with Cuba because I wasn't allowed but I think if I was able to play with US I think I can do it there or Spain you know I don't I don't know but I was focused most in my career here and the opportunity like really, really don't come. I got a lot of talk, a lot of, but you never like see, saw the yeah, opportunity. It's tough. I, th I thought the same thing, right? You're playing with the national team consistently and mm -hmm. had the opportunity to maybe go, but there were no teams that were like, okay, we want him now, yeah. right? You got, no, you got to go on trial. Okay, well, my contract's up here. What if I go on trial and I do my ACL? Yeah. Yeah. What now? The offer that the Sounders gave me in MLS at X amount is going to be halved at that point. And then I'm going to have to take it. Yeah. So they, I mean, they have you, right? You got to take what's offered to you and what's mm -hmm. best. You know, you have kids, so it makes it even more difficult. Yeah. You know, um, that was always, always a tough one. And people say, just go overseas, go overseas. And I don't think they understand like how difficult. Yeah, if you go at 15, 16, then you'd be part of that yeah. program forever. Yeah. But whose parents are going to send a kid over at 15, 16? Yeah. It gets really difficult, even as a really, really good player, four-time All-Star, yes. right? Passport situation, right? all that yeah, stuff oh, plays into it. It's a lot, it, a lot, yeah. a lot of, yeah. a lot of what ifs. So, like, so people any, don't know. any regrets, any what ifs, like, oh, what if I would have done this? What if I would have went into Ziggy's office and had a bigger conversation or, or anything? No regret, but the only thing I, I want to, I was like almost as play for the U.S. national team. I th what happened? I thought you, I thought we, I was there. I remember talking, okay, Ozzy's going to get a passport. Yeah, gonna, I remember. I get my, my passport, but I play with Cuba in the Gold Cup. In back in the day, now you can switch. Back in the day, you, you cannot switch. So you have to have a letter from Cuba like saying like you release. like release, like you're not from Cuba, you're not, you, you lose your right. So that after you have to go to FIFA and send a letter, and, but Cuba never sent a letter to FIFA. Everything was like... Because this happened. Because yeah. Klima went to Seattle and yeah. he talked to me. Now we're trying to the yeah. to, yeah. to make it for the national team. So I had the same conversation because I played for Congo in 2010. We played a game in Paris against Mali, but it was a friendly, so it didn't count. The next day, his name's Sunil Gulati. Mm -hmm. He called me. He says, don't play any more games because you'll get a green card, and then in four years, you'll be in the World Cup in Brazil. Wow. So then the next year, I get injured. Wow. That's what happened. So I, I remember the conversation. I remember, yeah, yeah Sunil called me. So wow. I remember that. Um, have you thought about what's next, or are you going to kind of take some time? Yeah, I thought a little bit, but now, right now, right now, it's spend time with my family. Yeah. After I wanna coach, but 100%. That's good, yeah. I wanna be involved in soccer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because that's what I know. Yeah, you have a lot yeah. to give back. Yeah. Your license and everything. I got my <coughs> license since oh, yeah. 14. I got oh, wow. B license. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. have? Okay, I have the B as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's hard. I did it 2014. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. With Gonzo. Oh, you did okay. So okay. I started doing my A license with uh, Atlanta, but the time wasn't right. Yeah. I stopped playing. I said, no, I, I don't wanna do it now. Okay. I'll do it later. But, oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want to talk too much about Atlanta, but curious to your experience there. I remember my experience in... And, and, and Minnesota, because you, you still, yeah, you, you still good in Minnesota. Yeah, yeah, you yeah were, Minnesota yeah. was... Yeah. Going there, in that, that time was hard because Minnesota was the worst it thing was in MLS. Yeah, yeah. You guys became good, yeah. With you I think the, the, the first two years, the worst thing, was essentially. Was with Reynoso that year? Was that Reynoso? No, he year? came after. He after. Came one year after. After. But well, you had Molino. And, yeah. Molino, yeah. yeah it's a good team. I signed in 2019. Yeah. We were playoff yeah. that year. Yeah. We went to the Open Cup final yeah. with Minnesota. Yeah. yeah. After that, we yeah, I was watching the beginning. Yeah, yeah, it was, you guys was, good, yeah. was good. Yeah. 
So we came here 2020 and we lost that, that game, that, that crazy, crazy game. Yeah, that, that was crazy. That yeah. hurt me a lot. Yeah, that was crazy game. <laughs> Winning 2-0, 70 something minutes and we lost 2-2. I couldn't two. believe it. Yeah, I stopped watching. I stopped watching, I saw, oh, they won. And the next day, they said, everyone said celebrate. I said, and I went on Twitter, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, yeah. I, watching. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> where, where you finish is kind of important, yeah. right? So, yes, Atlanta was the last team you played for. Um, and then you sign a one-day contract. So, technically, you're ending as a sounder, sounder. right? But, but finishing up in Atlanta, what that experience was like in those conversations, was it a good exit from that team? Was it... Uh, yeah, it was good in the beginning. I end my contract in Minnesota. Mm-hmm. So I go to come and say, you want to enjoy Atlanta? I need like some experience play to come here. I say, yeah, why not? Mm-hmm. I know Gonzo, he, he told me about the plan. So I got there in the beginning, it was great. Playing, you know, was, and after f- in the fifth game, I got injured. So after that, was, everything was like going down. Like the recovery was, was hard. 14 months out, coming back. I started playing again, but it wasn't the same. And, yeah, that's why I decided to retire. But I think the, the time I thought that was good. People there was great. Every time was. And that's going to be home for you? Right now, yeah. Right now. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Do you still have the white suit from Miami? Yeah. <laughs> Mi- Miami buys. <laughs> <laughs> I, had it. I used to love coming to game day. What's, what's he gonna yeah. Say? <laughs> I, I love Atlanta. It's a yeah. nice city. Close to Miami, nice yeah. weather. But you get to retire as a sounder. Yeah. And how important that is, just full circle, right? You think about 2009 walking out of the tunnel, and now you can kind of close that chapter uh, of, your, of your career. Yeah, like I say, I play against Atlanta, against Seattle last game. Yeah. It's crazy, crazy because yeah, yeah. you never thought. That's like, the game, Atlanta won. 2 yeah, yeah, we yeah, here. Yeah, 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 After yeah. that, didn't play any more games. Wow. So play against Seattle, yeah. wow. my former club, and retire yeah, as a sounder it was the best thing ever. Yeah. You know, when Alex called me, know that the plan that came me and retired Sunday, I say, oh yeah, yeah. I wanna wanna go there and retire Sunday because, like I say, Sunday Seattle is is home for me. Yeah, yeah. But but you know, 2019, mm-hmm. I don't I don't wanna live here. Yeah, yeah. I wanna stay here. Yeah. But it happens. It's football. It's yeah. football. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. It happens. Everyone. The great. Yeah. yeah. You know. You you you, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. But I went to Minnesota three years there after Atlanta. I was happy. I think I'm very happy for my career, for the 10 years I spent yeah. here, the three in Minnesota, the two years in, in Atlanta, yeah. and the one year in Charleston because Charleston yeah. was the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. very grateful for Charleston because yeah. I think Charleston was the, the thing that mm-hmm. made me like yeah. go to MLS and yeah. prove myself here. I have one question just for you, one question. Um, and maybe I'm wrong. I think for a long time, in my opinion, you didn't know how good you were. I think you know you were good, but I'm watching you. I'm like, I don't think this guy understands that he's. I still, yeah. I, I don't know. When we, I feel like you, you don't understand when I'm saying he's the best. I don't think you understand what I mean. Like, no, I was watching you. I think I didn't know if you knew that you were supposed to be the man, kind of that. Like, you watch, you look at Clint. Clint walks in the door, and Clint Oba, whoever, but you yeah. were on that level, right? Um, did that ever come to a point where you looked back and thought, okay, like, I'm. I'm at the top of my game here. Or you kind of just every day? Every day. I never thought like how good I am. Mm. Even now, my wife told me, <laughs> believe, I believe myself, but I say, yeah. you Ossie Alonso? I, I say, yeah, but. That's my point, yeah. I go to train, I miss one pass, I say. You get upset, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't miss that pass. Yeah, yeah. I want to be better. Yeah. And even walking here in the street or Atlanta or whatever, and people send me a text yeah. and or say, no, I'm very proud of you, what your career, but I don't feel that because I feel like Saying also like mm. came from Cuba, like yeah, yeah. I don't feel like I do everything I do for the people and they're so proud of me. Yeah. I feel like I'm like a normal people, like <laughs> I don't believe how good I am. Yeah, no, until good. somebody yeah. told me that like, you're good, they say always. Yeah, yeah, I'm good, but yeah. In my side, say I'm good, but yeah. you know no, like yeah, what yeah, I'm saying. No, like, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's why I go to hum- humble beginnings. <laughs> yeah. I think right? Yeah. Coming from Cuba, his family, it's not, you know, not having mm-hmm. anything and yeah. always trying to build, build, yeah. build. Yeah. But that's part of being, you know, I think there's an air about most sixes, mm-hmm. right? I don't think most sixes in, yeah. in the league or in the world think that, you know, oh, I'm the best player on the field. Yeah. Yeah. Number six's job is to get the ball and give the ball. Mm-hmm. And you provide cover for everyone and you're the one that is in the middle of the pitch. The eyes are on you, yes, but you're not going to, 
every once in a while, yeah, something spectacular. Yeah. But of course, Clinton know we're going to walk in here like this, right? Sporting because they're on the highlights yeah. every time. Yeah. When, you, you're, when you're a player and you don't see yourself on the highlights every week, you don't think of yourself as that player, yeah. right? And that's ingrained in your head consistently. Good point. Uh, yeah. And I think that's a credit to the early days, though. Mm-hmm. All the yeah. guys in 2009 run down the list. Who thought that they were the man besides Bloomberg? Nobody. Nobody. Right? Not, not yeah. one. Yeah, Casey, yeah. but he's a goalkeeper. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. everyone else was like workmen, right? Yeah. James, John, myself, yeah. Tyson, yeah. Stephen King, you yeah. guys, Even right? Freddy All the USL that. guys. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. just, yeah. 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 Jake, so, Latou. right? Latou. Yeah. All workhorses. Yeah. Right? And that's, that's what this club means. And you've just fit in perfect to that mold. Yeah. And I think yeah. it allowed you. I, I think, honestly, if you went to any other club, it'd be different. 100%. Mm-hmm. And especially at that time, if you had gone to the Galaxy, I think that they shower you with, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. too much, yeah. right? Too much 100%. lights, too much all that. Mm-hmm. In Miami, maybe, something like that back in the day if, yeah. if they were. So I think it was, like you said, destiny, perfect timing, culture, club, coaching staff, city, yeah. the determination, yeah. right? Right moment. It was yeah. right moment. Yeah, my, you know, my position is, is tough. When he lose the ball, I had to cover him. No, it's true. So, I was going to tell a story. No, no, we were playing in Salt Lake. This is when I knew how we were playing. That's why I like playing in front of you two, because you both would defend a lot. Because we get, we run at me and son are sometimes hard to yeah. come back. In Utah, I couldn't breathe. In, I, I couldn't breathe. I said, and I lost the ball. And I got to chase this guy 50 yards. And he said, no, no, Steve, stay. I'll defend for you. I said, oh, my God. Thank you so much. I said, yeah, so, because yeah, you are going, going forward. Uh, playing with you two was good. Because, so, yeah, you guys always come. Save the energy yeah. to, to go yeah, forward. Yeah, Don't waste it. I can yeah, do it yeah, for yeah. you. So who was the hardest you faced? So there's Morales. There's David Ferreira. There's Valeri. There's Nagby. There's all these people you kind of were always up against. And then not much like Landon and those guys because they were more wingers or forwards. But, yeah, who was for you? Like, uh, I play see? against a lot of good players. Yeah. But Jovinko. Ah, he's good. He's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he was good. Titi Henry is good. Yeah. Was good. Yeah. Lano Donova, yeah. Morales, but Jovinko was... He was good. Yeah, small, yeah. sneaky. Yeah, yeah. that's a good Remember shot. the final had to... Yeah. Sometimes you had to kick him. Yeah. Because that, those, those players, yeah, if you yeah, give him yeah. freedom, yeah. they do whatever yeah. and they kill you. What about, what about the final? That's why you I... Had, yeah, you guys somebody said, you yeah. have to... Go over there. What about the final in 2016? 2016. I mean, 2016. To be honest, I was watching in the crowd. <laughs> Toronto were much better. Like, like it, was oh, not, yeah. it was not even close. I don't know yeah. how they didn't win. Like it was, but then, did you guys have the feeling this is our year? Yeah. It has to be, right? Because there's no way you should have You been. know, funny story. Yeah, there's no way. We're playing FIFA the day, night before. Uh-huh. I, I, I don't know what happened in the FIFA. Um, we, t- the, we play, I don't know, both things. Uh-huh. And instead of the ball, that's the cup. Oh. Kicking the cup, the, the, the player said, yeah. what the f- what happened here? <laughs> Why is the cup? I got a video. Oh, with, yeah, yeah. Glitch. like a playing ah. FIFA, but it's not a ball. It's, it's the cup. cup. The cup, cup playing. You kicking the, the cup oh, wow. in the, in, in the yeah, FIFA yeah, yeah. game. I wow. said, this is sign. You're gonna win. We wanna win. Yeah, gonna I win. got record here. I'll show you. Like, That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That w- it was I, weird I, vibes though because the Colorado series was crazy. Yeah. And then celebrating in Colorado, in Colorado. Was, was wild. Yeah. Didn't really expect to win that game, I don't think. No. That was a, that was a tough one. So Jordan scored. Jordan scored, yeah. 1-0. Yeah. Yeah. I got my yeah. knee injury. That's the knee injury, yeah. right? So vibes were kind of down. We're like, okay, we made the final. What are we going to do? Fly to Toronto. Olex so Anderson. Cool. Olex Anderson tears ACL. They in training. Game in training, playing 5v5. And you're like, oh, this field, this is cursed now. We did all this, and now this guy tears ACL. We, we're going to miss maybe. I was out of the game. I was like, we, yeah, what are we going to do? 50 yeah. 50. And then all of a sudden, you're sitting on the sideline. Just, I'm just there, like, just. Yeah. And we came on as a We sub. play like, I don't know, and Steph make that save yeah. in the end. And then once that save, yeah. both. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Mark's got to be. Yeah. PK and. They yeah. said so we got Brad PK, yeah. Nico, I say. Yeah, yeah, some good friendly yeah. takers, yeah. We're, did, not gonna, we're not going to lose. What, where did you go first? Yeah. You went first, okay. Where did Nico go? Nico go, I think. Three or four. Three okay. or four. Okay, yeah, those so are the two. So it was Brad, Flaco, Joven. Joven. Oh, yeah. Nico, Nico Roman. and Roman. Yeah, because yeah. Flaco missed. It was Flaco. He missed. Oh, my God. Yeah. Flaco, yeah. It was Ivanchitz. Yeah, Flaco. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I wow. think Ivanchitz, he took one, no? Either him or Flaco. You no, Fla- Flaco, he Flaco missed one. He missed. Yeah, Dennis Flaco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah. took six. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ivan just took one through there. I think. Yeah. Brad, yeah. Nico, Joven, Flaco. 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 I think Ivan just, yeah, Ivan just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. We well, all go. Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 right? No, I didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't your daughter's birthday? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I say, no. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, I think a good place to end then is just on that. What did it mean to you to be 
part of because we worked so hard for that, right? I was not able to experience it. I was gone before you guys did that. Um, to be able to finally win MLS Cup, that's what everyone was waiting for. To be able to lift that trophy. Yeah, come yeah. here all nine. Yeah, a year after, fourteen was close because close. Yeah, we with Galaxy, lose yeah. one zero Galaxy down there. Mm -hmm. We winning two zero here, and we yeah, give the, the way Goram yeah, to yeah, one. Yeah. That year will be amazing. Uh, because yeah. Open Cup, Support Shield, Shield by 16, yeah. being the bottom of the table, nobody believed in us. Ridiculous. We yeah. like, yeah. they fire CV, yeah. Yeah. Brian take over, yeah. and we like, they bring Nico. Yeah. Loose clean. Loose clean. Yeah. yeah. We say, what? Yeah, wow. Hmm. And Nico came and Nico was a was good. push, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Winning that year was amazing. I say, oh, I did everything in Seattle. Yeah. So, yeah. Sure. Awesome. Check, yeah. check mark. Yeah. Absolutely, that's the one we're waiting for. Well, we could do this all day, Aussie, obviously, and we will again, but um, it's good to have you here. Obviously, for me, one of the best careers that I've seen in MLS. Obviously, we know your story and stuff, but just as a top, top player, a good person as well. So um, we wish you the best on everything that's coming next. And I can't wait to see you one day on this. I don't know what kind of coach you're going to be. If you're going to be like screaming or you're going to be sitting down. What and do you think? Like <laughs> <laughs> I think I know it. <laughs>